The comically melancholy tone humming behind my eyes sometimes becomes so loud that I can hear nothing else. The tone pierces my bubble from the outside when my knees are stiff in the morning. As mortality connivingly sneaks up on who I pretend to be, disguised as seasons in the construction of subdivisions, I can only help but chuckle as a tear paves a wet streak down my left cheek. Because as the days get shorter and I stray further from the tether of the void before birth, still I cannot get out of my mind my favorite song. As the TV in the other room drones in the background of a family collecting around the table for dinner, jovial as their paths convene for this hour of the day, so does the song play maniacally behind the TV. Behind the TV and behind the funerals of loved ones. Behind the sunset and behind my garden, the song sings itself into a tangled stream flowing effortlessly. I know the stream. I know what it does, and I know who you are. Bicycle races and ponds meet each other in the same places as forest fires and earthquakes, the same distant cavern whose residents are philosophy and contemplation also houses board games and lust. They all meet in the concert hall as painfully conflicting, juxtaposed harmonies. The chirp of the sparrow and the howl of the wind are instruments performing each as importantly in paramount obsolescence. All part of the orchestra that plays for you. Muffled from behind the curtain, I know you can hear it. The song of your painfully euphoric life. Played for you and written with you in mind, it belts out as a ringing in your ears after sex with someone you've never met. I watch fruit grow as I watch that which I love melt into time. Both at the mercy of the flow of the ticking clock, they act in a contradictory tandem. I am buried after death to act as a flower bed. And as the flowers of purpose and meaning bloom in the lives of those who have been fed by the manure of loss, so does the music not skip a beat. For you. And so in the long evenings on Sundays, I sit outside at complete peace with the deafening, melancholy bliss.